In the year 2012, in the city of Lublin, a renovation began in house number four in the old market square. Behind one of the walls of the attic, a big pile of dusty glass plates was discovered. It was only after the plates were separated, cleaned, preserved, and scanned that the importance of the finding became clear. The plates were in fact a collection of about 2,700 photo negatives that served as a window into Jewish life in Lublin between the two world wars. The identity of the photographer remained unknown. Whether these photographs were even taken by one single photographer is still unknown. And yet, even with so much unknown, there is much that we can learn from a collection that portrays such a diverse set of activities, individuals, and customs. As the handwriting on many of the negatives is in Yiddish, the photographer was likely Jewish. Photographs of Jewish schools, youth groups, families, and leisure are all inscribed with the same handwriting, though sometimes the writing is in Polish. The photographer is hidden in nearly all the photos of the collection, but there are three in which you can maybe see him in action. One was taken during the opening ceremony of Chachmei Lublin Yeshiva, and the other two at the Saxon Garden, perhaps on a sunny Sunday afternoon. It seems that wandering the park in search of potential clients and extra income was a routine for Lublin's photographers, and indeed one can find many of the people photographed wearing their best clothes seated on the benches across the garden's paths. The photographed include men and women, mothers and children, soldiers and groups of friends. Based on what we see in the collection, it appears that the main business of this photographer was making portraits in his studio, not just of Jews, but of Gentiles as well. But aside from those portraits, other photos can also be found. Photos of workers, farmers, craftsmen, and village life that the photographer likely earned less money for, but that he nonetheless felt compelled to create. Lublin is often treated as two separate cities, one Jewish and one Christian. This collection offers a delicate bridge between the two communities and walks upon it as if on a tightrope.